What's up YouTube, it's Sean from Rags to Boss. With only 32 days left in 2022, most people who still believe in Safe Moon are getting increasingly anxious. Turns out for good reason. So get your popcorn ready and let's dive into the latest drama surrounding seemingly non-existing product launches. Now, remember back in April of this year when SafeMoon CEO John Caroni promised to launch an exchange with groundbreaking global tokenomics in 2022? Well, he was already about five months late because originally they actually said that they were going to launch it in 2021 and then they, well, they lost the roadmap. Anyway, well, with the end of the year drawing nearer, it seems that nothing will be released this year after all. The latest drama started two days ago with a guy called The Otter on Twitter saying, after discussing with some of the Safe Moon moderators, it is considered that the promise of exchange or other products planned for 2022 is no longer valid. Manage your expectations. Now this, not surprisingly, sent a shockwave through the Safe Moon community with all John could say about it being, feeding drama starves good karma. Something I think our industry should hear right now. Happy Saturday. Eh? This all but confirms that rumors of no exchange in 2022 are true because this is exactly the kind of reaction that we are used to getting from John when there's only bad news to tell. Now, shills like Denology and others reacted by saying that we should prepare for no products releasing this year. And let's be honest, Denology and these guys who were basically just shills get their information straight from SaveMoon. If they're not paid to do so, they at least know what's going on. So what do I think is going on? Well, to be honest, I think there is no exchange. I think there is no card and I think there is no blockchain. And my prediction is that they are going to announce pushing the exchange back, implementing Orbital Shield as being one of the reasons. They will then try to put a positive spin on the bad news of the exchange being delayed, saying that the implementation of Orbital Shield will be industry changing, blah, blah, blah. Probably trying to use the fear the collapse of FTX has created to get people to accept this new reali reality of no products coming in favor of stronger security, so then somehow SafeMoon won't be able to steal your coins like FTX did. And while people might get mad at this, let's be honest. Anyone with any kind of self-respect or investment know-how were out the second John got caught stealing from the LP. Who left now? Well, people who need to believe that a $100 investment can make you a millionaire overnight and are willing to turn a blind eye to what by now is really nothing more than one big red flag after the other. One thing John has learned is how to manipulate people into becoming emotionally over-invested, making it impossible for them to look at this project with any kind of clear head. Because let's face it, if your email address or Twitter, Twitter handle contains the word safe moon, what are you to do but huddle and pray that the almighty God John Caroni will reward you with generational wealth? Anyway, guys, I just wanted to keep you updated on the Safe Moon news. Um, I mean, it's getting just really pathetic at the moment, and I don't understand why John hasn't just gone dark and, and you know fled off to the Bermudas somehow. Because let's be honest, the Feds are probably investigating him by now, and all he's doing is keeping appearances. Well, everybody with any kind of know-how or savvy knows what's up. John, we are watching you. Anyway. Check me out on Twitter at rags to boss Follow me over here by subscribing if you want to see more content like this. And check out the video right here about something that I would actually consider investing in. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!